All right, here's some big breaking news coming in. Tejaswini's sister has spoken to India today, confirms that surviving father and child are out of danger. Tejaswini is the girl who died in the Bengaluru metro pillar collapse tragedy. In fact, the victim, Tejaswini's family, now speaking to India today, saying that she is, the father and the child are currently out of danger. Huge development in the case. Tejaswini's sister um, now confirming that the father and child are currently out of danger. Remember, there were four people on that bike when the pillar crashed, that metro pillar came crashing down. And out of the four, the mother and the son, we believe, have died. The father and the, uh, the daughter is uh, what we understand, have now survived and out of danger. This is a confirmation coming in from Tejaswini's family. Family of uh, Tejaswini, in fact, her sister. Tejaswini is the girl who died. If I, if I can show the victim's uh, image. Uh, let me quickly cut across the sister as she says uh, and confirms that the father and the girl child are out of danger. Yeah, they got accident and she is no more now. And uh, one son also is there and he is also no more. Actually, they have ten twin babies. And one is girl and one is boy. Now maybe girl babies, she is just little injured it seems. Not at all. She was also on the bike? Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh, four members were in bike only. They came in bike. Okay. And how is the condition of Louidi and the other baby? Uh, they are not uh, well conditioned now. Actually, they are... Uh, our GJ is like, uh, he is very upset and he is in... How is the case of the baby? Okay. It's not good. It's not Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kanta <laughs> Alright, that's the father, a grandfather rather of that child Behan who says that accountability must be pinned on the BMRCL officials for this kind of laxity. They, he very clearly suggests that the shoddy job by the BMRCL, the metro, uh, the, the body that's constructing the metro in uh, joining hands with the private company, and this is done of course under the government supervision, have completely failed to ensure a disciplined job. Construction was shoddy and that's what resulted to this. This happened to us, it should not happen to anyone else. That's what they say. The sister of Tejaswini, Tejaswini is a girl that you see on your screen, 28-year-old Tejaswini who died after that metro pillar came crashing down. Her sister says that the father and the daughter, the one you see on the right hand, the, on the screens there, the father and the daughter have survived and they're out of danger while the mother and the son unfortunately have died. This is the information that we get as we see the clear laxities by the Bengaluru Metro, the BMRCL, who have not bothered to really check whether that pillar, the, the said pillar is stable or not. In fact, it's come crashing down after three days of locals complaining that they saw it slightly shake and move. This is the uh, video that we're bringing to you as we, uh, we're going to cut across to our reporters who are currently on ground. In fact, what we see here is uh, politicians there deflecting from the issue. Lots of talk about every other issue, uh, polarized campaign in a pole-bound state of Karnataka, except for talking about the real civic issues in the state. We're seeing this killer apathy hitting the, hitting the streets of Bengaluru yet again. A mother and her...
two and a half year old son died after a metro pillar collapsed on them. In fact, um, along with the, the lady, the woman, along with her husband and her two children were traveling on that stretch when the husband's bike met with an accident uh, the, as the pillar crashed on them as they were plying on that stretch, Nagwara Ring Road, that's where the accident has taken place. The woman identified as Tejaswini and her son Bihan were headed towards Hebbal when that pillar came crashing down. Let me cut across to Sagai Ra joining us. Sagai, a quick word from you on how far has the investigation reached and when are we likely to get an, a full conclusive report on what exactly happened? And we believe that Suomoto case has been filed against the metro official, the project manager of that stretch of Nagwara. What more do we know as an update in this case? And, and, and we are now doubting all the material used in the metro construction in Bengaluru. Absolutely. Everything will be subject to inquiry and subject to investigation and probably uh, the government as well as uh, the BMRCL will look into the uh, materials which has been used in this particular construction. And you can see this is the family members here. They were completely shattered and they were literally crying. Uh, ಮೊಟೋರೆ <laughs> <laughs> In Manele Casamari, in Nakting Logleke, Udur, Sandna with a Matu Borala, Matu Sereg Borala, Arama Giron did the Gatia Tidilla. Work from Omo Tidilla, Ura Lidri Gatana Tidilla. Monday, Ivatigat, the dinner school is scarce. Yel Bantapa Matada la Kandama. Yar one to School. School in land is there. She is a mother in law of uh, Tejaswini, and you can say that uh, she was uh, going to her office to Maneta Tekpa. She works as a software engineer at Motorola Company, yeah, and I have she, one more while, uh, she was do, she was working from home. And uh, she says that it is quite unfortunate if she would have stayed back at home, this incident wouldn't have happened. And uh, it says that and, uh, whoever can take the accountability of it, whether BMRCL or the government, but the lost life will not be will not come back.